Hi everybody. I'm going to show you some of my brushes because people are always saying to me what kind of brushes should I buy. Well, there's a lot of brushes on the market and you can buy just about any kind, but I'll show you my preference. Um, I'm going to start with the bunny brush or the blender brush. This is a royal brush. Um, it's just got real soft, fine um, bristles in it. <clears throat> and what I use this for, say that I am um, working on a background here, I will take it once the paint is on there and I'll just kind of run it over here to soften any of the lines that might be in there. So that's a good use for this one. <clears throat> These brushes here, there's three in this pack. These are one stroke. Donna Dewberry brushes and you don't have to buy this brand but I find that they are very nice and the number 12 which is this one right here is the one that I use the most I use it in every single class so I always tell people you know you gotta have that brush this one's a script liner some of them are longer some of them are shorter um, it's your own preference whichever way you like it is the way that the, the one that you want to get and again you can buy these in royal brands and different brands but this one here is the one stroke brand um, <clears throat> I call this the cloud brush it's not a cloud brush but it makes the best clouds it's got um, these kind of bristles here that are kind of stiff and uh, once you use this brush it's going to fluff out a little bit here's one that's been used and you can kind of see how it, it it has more bristles in than say the one stroke brushes this brush here uh, is I call it the three-quarter royal it's a royal brush brush and the bristles <clears throat> are kind of stiff they're pretty stiff so that when I use this I'm pouncing and this can give me all of this real pretty different looks when I'm pouncing down here. So this one's called a three-quarter uh, royal. They have a one half inch royal and I use this in every single class. Again, it's got the stiffer bristles in. It's got a lot of bristles. So it's not like a one-stroke brush. And this one here, you're just going to tap, 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 and it's going to give you smaller little flowers. This one here is the quarter inch. I have never found these in the shorter brush brushes. So I always get the long ones of these. And they, are, they work really well to get into little small areas. And of course, this one's the fan brush, and they make beautiful trees. So you're just going to be tapping like this and then you're going back and forth, back and forth like this. Uh, the mistake a lot of people make when they come to my classes is they're getting watercolor brushes. And watercolor brushes will hold the water in, so you don't want that. You want something with a, a bristle that's kind of stiff like this one here is. And I think that just about shows you all of the brushes um, these are the main brushes that you'll use every time you come to a class uh, this one here is the palette knife the palette knife is perfect for doing mountains and frosting pulling in the the snow over the mountains this here is just a background brush and a lot of times <clears throat> it's not a brush it's just a regular kitchen sponge always get the soft ones they they make them harder and they make them softer you're not going to use this side but you're going to use this side and what i do is i lo load some paint on here and i just pull it across and i load another color pull it across and that's when you would use this brush right here to soften that out and then to clean your brushes a tool like this is just perfect this is called a brush scrubby and um, I actually order mine um, they work they work really good to clean the paint out of your brush you put some soap on here and you go like this you go like this you loosen all the paint that's in here and that will keep your brushes nice anyway I hope this little lesson helps 
Another thing that's really nice to have when you're painting is one of these spray bottles. It will spray a fine mist. So, you know, you're, you're going to spray it over your canvas like that. And then you can easily come across here and, and uh, get the paint distributed a little bit easier. So that's some of the tools that I use, and I hope that this has been helpful. Thank you.